We now learn how to add or subtract two fractions using the least common multiple. Let's see how that's done. Let's say we have to calculate 3 over 4 plus 1 over 6. Well, we can do this in three steps. Step 1 is going to be to find the least common multiple of the two denominators. In this case, those would be 4 and 6. So I'll just write find LCM, that's the least common multiple, of 4 and 6. To find the least common multiple of 4 and 6, we start by writing the multiples of 4. Those would be 4, 8, 12, 16, 20, and so on. And we also write the multiples of 6. Those would be 6, 12, 18, 24, 30, and so on. And we now look for the smallest number both of these lists have in common. And looking at these two lists, it doesn't take us too long to see that the smallest number they have in common is 12. And that's the least common multiple of 4 and 6. So we can go ahead and write LCM of 4 and 6 equals to 12. And that's our first step done. Step 2 we need to write both of these fractions over the least common multiple that we found in step 1. In other words, we need to write both fractions over 12. So I'll just go ahead and say, write fractions over 12. All right, well, let's see how we do that. For 3 over 4, to write that as a fraction over 12, we can quickly look back at the list of multiples of 4 and notice that 12 is the 1, 2, 3, third multiple of 4. So we can multiply 4 by 3 to get 12. But if we're multiplying the denominator by 3, we have to do the same thing on the numerator. So that would be 3 times 3 on the numerator. And now we can state that 3 over 4 equals to 3 times 3, that's 9, over 4 times 3, 12. And we're done. We do the same thing for 1 over 6. That is, we can look back at our list of multiples and notice that 12 is the 1, 2, that's the second multiple of 6. So to change this into a fraction over 12, we multiply 6 by 2 on the denominator, and therefore we multiply what's on the numerator by 2 as well. That's 1 times 2. And so we can state that 1 over 6 equals to 2 over 12. And that's our step two done. We move on to the third and final step, step three, and that's simply to calculate. And here's what I mean. At this stage, we can write three over four plus one over six equals two, nine over 12 plus two over 12. And now, because both of these fractions are written over 12, we can go ahead and add their numerators together. That would look like this. That's equal to 9 plus 2 over 12. And finally, 9 plus 2 is 11, so that's 11 over 12. And that's the final answer. We can also use the same method for subtraction with fractions. Let's look at a quick example of that. Let's say we have to calculate 5 over 8 minus 7 over 12. Well, again, we can do this in three steps. Step one is to find the least common multiple of the two denominators, in this case, 8 and 12. So I'll just write, find LCM of 8 and 12. Again, to do this, we just list the multiples of 8 and 12 to begin with. So the multiples of 8 would be 8, 16, 24, 32, 40, and so on. The multiples of 12 would be 12, 24, 36, 48, 60, and so on. We now look for the smallest number both of these lists have in common. And looking at these lists, it doesn't take us long to see that the smallest number they have in common is 24. And so that's the least common multiple. We can go ahead and write LCM of 8 and 12 equals to 24. We now move on to the second step, step two, and that's to write both of these fractions 
over 24. So I'll just go ahead and say write fractions over 24. Now to do this, I'll start with 5 over 8. We can write this as a fraction over 24 by noticing that 24 is the 1, 2, 3, third multiple of 8. So on the denominator, I can say that it's equal to 8 times 3. But if I've done that on the denominator, I need to do the same on the numerator. So that would be 5 times 3. And that is equal to 15 over 24. We do the same thing now for 7 over 12. So 7 over 12 equals 2. Let's look at the list again. We notice that 24 is the 1, 2, second multiple of 12. So to write this fraction as a fraction over 24, we go ahead and say that the denominator is 12 times 2. But since we've multiplied the denominator by 2, we do the same on the numerator. And that leads us to 14 over 24. Finally, step 3, we can calculate. And I'll just write calculate. And we can write 5 over 8 minus 7 over 12 equals to the fractions we just found in step 2. So that's 15 over 24 minus 14 over 24. And now, since both of these fractions are written over 24, we can go ahead and write that this equals to 15 minus 14 on the numerator over 24. Finally, 15 minus 14 is 1, and that's 1 over 24. And that's the final answer. And there we go. That's how we can add and subtract with fractions using the least common multiple, which is also known as the least common denominator. Anyway, I really hope that helps. Please help us by hitting like and even subscribe to this channel. It really does help. See you soon.